Now that the elections are over and the president, governors and legislators have been elected, Nigerians are hopeful that the new administration, when sworn into power, will make policies that will foster economic growth and development in the country. Speaking with the news agency of Nigeria in separate interviews in Lagos, they also urged the government to restore peace and unity to the nation. If after uh, May 29th, that, um, you know, they take hold of office, what I will expect is for everybody to come together, look at how we're going to really build a nation. Um, right now, there's so much animosity, there's so much bickering, a lot of people are not happy. And of course, you expect some of these things in a contest. But the truth is that we just need a systemic change. We all have to just make sure that um, some of the things we experienced now and going forward will be changed. Our institutions, you know, our lives should be better. You know, the youths should also get more involved in what, you know, in nation building. I mean, we, we've had a lot of this old generation. So I expect that... Um, one will try and heal the country because um, people, the politicians have divided us across religious and um, um, ethnic lines, um, which of course is not good. We're all Nigerians. So I expect that we come together and at least try to make this country work for once. We expect that the government will uh, take the bull by the horn and uh, become the, as a president, or as a governor, you should understand that you are elected in the public office for everybody not for those that voted for you, but for the entire Nigeria or the state. Our educational sector is crying for help. Our healthcare sector is, is zero. Agriculture, farmers can go to farm. And that is why we have uh, foodstuffs are so expensive. So they must improve on agriculture. They must also improve on security, which is most important. Most importantly, they must improve on uh, security. That, I think that is even the basic. Security is the basic, is the most important thing any government, any responsible government must do. Then, like I said, the healthcare sector, then power. People can generate employment. One day, once, uh, once we have steady power supply, people can do things by themselves and, and make a living. The government should try as much as possible to look at those key things that affects the poor people, that affect the masses in the country, particularly now, the issue of the uh, scarcity of currency is very key. The petroleum scarcity as well. I believe that uh, with the leadership of uh, Achuaji Bola Ahmed Tunumbu, because of the kind of person he is, because of his pedigree, and because of the things that he has done in Lagos, I believe he should do better. And I've uh, read some of the things that he's, he has reeled out that he wants to do in recent time. If he told that line, believe you me, Nigeria would be better for it. So praise for good governance and uh, development in this coming dispensation. Everyone's hope is very high, but I believe that uh, they will, this time around, they will get it right. In that they will, we are not expecting them to get it right for about 100%. Where they, they can get it right, especially to meet the demand and the expectations of the youth. Let them not have anything like tribal sentiments. We are all one Nigeria. Forget about the hippos, the houses. The, now we know that the youth are for togetherness. Let them bring everybody together and let us, you know, move forward. So hopefully, this time that uh, the APC have come again, I pray and I hope that they will carry everybody along and they will make the youth, you know, meet up with their expectations and not put Nigeria into more debt. I pity the incoming government. They have a lot of job to do. A lot of job to do. Is it security? The Boris regime has done well to a very large extent. But I'm wondering how they're going to continue from where this regime has stopped. We're talking of subsidy removal. Uh, the insecurity, well, to an extent, well, we're battling it. And thank God for the way they handle the headsman crisis. A whole lot, but I expect Tinubu, with the effect he did in Lagos during his time, I expect him to bring that to power on the federal level. I have this belief that he will perform, irrespective of the issues around. 
all he needs is. And again, I hope and I pray oh, we don't have to wait six months like the Buhari regime before we get cabinet. Immediately you're sworn in, hit the ground running. Put in your cabinet. Put in the right people, the right and, and designations. And to get better. And also the foreign bodies, the foreign nations too. Kudos to them too. But at the same time too, they should also watch their words. Just the same way foreign countries will not conduct elections, and we Nigerians will be instigating violence towards their own. They should also respect us as a sovereign nation too. We appreciate their uh, interference and all that. Was the election perfect? Well, the judiciary will answer that. But to an extent, I give kudos to the INEC and the regime. And my expectation for Tinubu, I'm sure it will do well.